an infant's Tylenol. Five milliliters of the Tylenol contains 160 milligrams of the acetaminophen. If your child's pediatrician says that your child can take 144 milligrams of acetaminophen, how many milliliters should you give the child? Okay, so what are they, what are they talking about? So they're saying, they're talking about this, you know, infant's Tylenol and five milliliters of that, that amount of liquid has in it 160 milligrams of this drug, which is basically aspirin, acetaminophen. If your child's pediatrician says your child can take 144 milligrams of the aspirin, the acetaminophen, how many milliliters, how much liquid should you give the child? How much Tylenol? All right, so basically I'm gonna set it up so it's gonna be Tylenol, Tylenol milliliters over the acetaminophen in milligrams. Right, so, uh, and you can do it, yeah, you can put the acetaminophen on the top and then the Tylenol bottle, it doesn't matter. But I really encourage you to write the words on the first step because in a minute, uh, starting at question number four, the words are gonna be a lot more confusing. Okay, so um, five milliliters of the Tylenol contains 160 milligrams of the acetaminophen equals, now, uh, the child's pediatrician says it should take 144 milligrams of the acetaminophen. Where does that 144 go on the other fraction? Does it go on the top or does it go on the bottom? The bottom. Yeah, and you know that because I happen to put acetaminophen on the bottom and this is acetaminophen. So we put it on the bottom and the top is gonna to be X, or I'm gonna put T for Tylenol. You could do X, but I think T will make, make it easier to remember what it is when we're done. We good there? Everybody see that? And then we cross multiply. Now here's a case where you see what I was talking about. You, we can't just look at 160 to 144. It's not, a, it's not clean whole numbers. So we just have to go diagonal, diagonal, five times 144 is 160 times T. Use your calculator. Let me use mine. Five times 144. 720 looks like. 160 T. Last step to solve for T. Divide by 160. And I'm getting 4.5. So 4.5, so uh, that's how much Tylenol, 4.5. So that's our answer right here. But what do they want in the first, first blank? They just want you to write the equation. They're just making sure you're writing out the equation. And oh, they want you to use X. So I'll have to put X instead of my T because they said use X. So there we go. So four, so, so you should give the child 4.5, four and a half, milliliters of the Tylenol. Questions on that one? Is that good? Anything I can answer?